The cycle brand is proud of the 5,000 year old heritage of our nation and has centered the company's mission and vision around the same. Cycle Heritage Quiz is an endeavor in educating the future on India, on our glorious past, our incredible architecture, our diverse culture, the great works of our literary legends and artists, the courage of our warriors and freedom fighters, the rich contributions of our scientists, and many more aspects which make India a truly great nation. We now have the final for the Mysore cluster, where students from across Karnataka have taken part in large numbers. Let us meet our participants. First, we have Samhita HS from the Poddar International School in Shivamoga. Namaste, Samhita. Namaste, Samhita. And uh, how was your experience competing in the preliminary round of the Cycle Heritage? Next, we have from the Excel Public School in Mysore, uh, we have Harita A. Welcome, Harita. Thank you, sir. And Harita, uh, tell us, Mysore is, of course, very famous for all its uh, heritage monuments, its temples, its palaces. What is your favorite uh, place to visit in Mysore? Uh, I like the Vrindavan Garden and Palace, Mysore Palace. Okay, fantastic. Those are very nice places to visit, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and uh, very uh, prominent tourist attraction in India. Thank you so much, uh, Harita, for taking part and all the best today. Thank you, sir. Next, we have uh, Manav N. Chhapriya, who's also from the Excel Public School in Mysore. Uh, Manav, confident of doing well today? Yes, sir. Great. Fantastic. And all the best to you. Thank you, sir. Next, we have uh, from the Excel Public School, Mysore, we have Sai Charan H. Uh, Welcome, Sai Charan, and uh, tell us your experience about the preliminary rounds at the Cycle Heritage Quiz. The preliminary round was actually a medium kind of, uh, I felt it was not so hard and not so easy to, uh, yeah, I skipped few questions, but then I answered most of them. Uh, hopefully, I will get through this round today, expecting a good uh, sports and hopefully I get selected for the next round. All the very best, Sai Charan. Hope you Thanks. do really well. And last but not the least, today we have Stash Mascarenas from the Bishop Sergeant School. Welcome, Stash. Hi, sir. Hi. And Stash, excited about today's quiz? Yes, sir. I'm really excited. And confident of doing well? Yeah. I hope for the best results today. Great, Stash. All the very best. Now we have our five participants for today's cluster final, and we are set. For our first round, which is called Laksha Bheda. Now let's take a look at the rules. Uh, one question per participant. Uh, this round does not pass. Each question has four options. Each participant gets three attempts plus 15 if you get the correct answer in your first attempt, plus 10 if you get the correct answer in your second attempt, and plus five if you get the correct answer in your third attempt. Let us now move to the first question, and that is going to be for part seven, number one, and that is Samhita. Let's move to the first question, and that is for Samhita. Question number one. The BARC is India's premier nuclear research facility. What does the B in BARC stand for? Is it A, Bose, B, Bhaba, C, Bombay, or D, Bharat? Sir, I go with Option D, Bharat. Okay, let's click on D, Bharat. Sorry, that's the wrong answer. You have one more attempt. Sir, C, Bombay. Let's click on C, Bombay. So one last attempt, actually. What's your last attempt? Sir, B, Baba. Let's click on B, Baba. Absolutely, the BARC is the Baba Atomic Research Center. When you think of atomic research or nuclear research in India, you think of one name that is Homi Jahangir Bhabha. So well done. Samita, you're on the board. You get five points. Thank you, sir. Next, we have participant number two, and that is Harita. Let's move to question number two for Harita. In 2017, the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus was renamed by adding one word to the name. What is that word? Is it A, Raja? B. Veer, C. Samrat, and D. Maharaj. Sir, so, option A. 
Okay, option A, let's take on option A, Raja. Not Raja, what's your next attempt? Option B, Veer. Okay, let's take on option B, Veer. Okay, your last attempt for five points. Sir, option uh, D, Maharaj. Maharaj. Okay, let's take on D, Maharaj. And yes, Sarita, you're right. You have got five points. You're on the scoreboard. And now we will move on to question number three. And that is for participant number three. And that is Manav. Manav, your question coming up now. 16th century Mughal garden tombs like Neela Gumbad, Isa Khan, Bu Halima, Afsarwala, Barber's tomb stand within the complex of which famous monument is it A. Kutub Minar, B. Humayun's tomb, C. Taj Mahal, or D. Purana Kila? Sir, I'm going to go with D. Humayun's tomb. Manav confidently answers B. Humayun's tomb. Let's see whether that's right or not. Absolutely. Great answer, Manav. Superstar. 15 points to you. Let's move on to participant number four, and that is Sai Charan. Sai Charan, your question. Which of these national parks is located in the Golahat and Nagao districts? A. Kanha National Park. B. Jim Corbett National Park. C. Kaziranga National Park. D. Ranthambore National Park. Sir, uh, option C. Kaziranga. Sai Charan, this is a confident answer and says C. Let's see if C is correct. Kaziranga. Kaziranga is absolutely the right answer. 15 points to you, Sai Charan. Congratulations. Let's move on to our last participant for today. Stash Masterenus. Stash, your question coming up on screen. Dr. Zakir Hussain was the second person to hold which important post in India? Is it A, Home Minister, B, Deputy Prime Minister, C, Vice President, and D, President? B, Deputy Prime Minister. Okay, let's look at B, Deputy Prime Minister. That's the wrong answer. Next step. A, Home Minister. Let's click on A. Home Minister. That's also the wrong answer. Last D, pre D President. Let's click on D President. Sorry, all your attempts were wrong. Uh, Dr. Zakir Hussain was the second Vice President of India. The second President was, of course, Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. Rajendra Prasad, Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan. And Zakir Hussain was, in fact, the third President of India. With that we come to the end of round number one. We'll quickly move on to round number two. Round number two is titled Jigyasa. Let's take a look at the rules. One direct question per participant passes clockwise, plus 10 for every correct answer, direct or on pass. Once again, the first question is going to be for Samita. Samita, your question coming up on screen now. This historian, writer, and journalist is referred to as Karnataka Kulopurohita. He is known for his contribution towards the cause of a separate Karnataka state. He is also known for translating Bal Gangadhar Tilak's book Gita Rahasya into Kannada. Name this famous person. Hello, idea. Okay, Samita is passing to Harita now. Sir, I am not sure. Okay, Harita is not sure. Uh, let's move on to our third contestant. And that is Mana. No idea, sir. Okay, seems to be a tough one. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to our fourth contestant. That is Sai Charan. Sir, I think it is Girish Karnad. No, no, sorry. Not sir. Girish Karnad. I'm sorry. Uh, last but not the least, let's move on to Stash. Sir, no idea. Okay, no one got this one. This is the famous Kanadiga. Uh, Aluru Venkata Rao, Aluru Venkata Rao, known for his great contributions towards Karnataka and the formation of the state of Karnataka. So, but in the Cycle Heritage Quiz, we tried to bring you stories about the great leaders, the great reformers who constructed modern India as we know it today. And Aluru Venkata Rao is definitely one of them. Let's move on to our next question. The next question is a direct one for Harita. Harita, your question coming up on screen now. This style of handicraft was promoted by the Bahamani sultans who ruled in the 14th to 15th century. It incorporates Persian, Turkish, and Arabic designs. Name this type of handicraft artwork named after a city in Karnataka that is made by the amalgamation process of zinc, copper, and other 
precious metals? Um, sir, I don't know. Okay. Yes, passing on to Manav. Uh, I don't, I have no idea. Okay, now it's time for Sai Charan. Sir, I think it is Bijapur. Not Bijapur, can't this be to you for Bijapur? Uh, we have to move on to our next contestant, and that is Dash. Sir, I have no idea. Okay, uh, let's move on to Samhita. Samhita. No, we wanted the style of metal craft or the style of handicraft. This is derived from the city of Bidar in Karnataka. The answer is Bidri Ware. The answer is Bidri Ware. That's what I was looking for. No one gets this. Let's move on to the next question and see whether Manav can break the trend of no answers so far. Manav, your question coming up. Question number three on stream now. In 2022, Bangor City Railway Station set up a dedicated stall for these. These articles associated with the town in Karnataka was traditionally made by lacquering the wood of the tree, colloquially called Ale Mara, which means ivory wood. The tableau of Karnataka at the 66th Republic Day Parade also featured these items prominently. What is being talked about? I don't know, sir. Okay. Passing okay. to uh, Sai Charan. I'm not sure of Tash. Okay. Uh, passing on to the fifth contestant, that is Tash. Sir, no answer. Okay. Uh, let's move on to Samhita. Uh, yeah. You can guess there's no negative marking. You can all try something because there is, it's a local handicraft from Karnataka. Anyway, let's move on to Harita. Sir, uh, sir I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, nobody gets this. This is the Chenna Patna dolls, which is, of course, having the GI tag. And it's a very famous uh, brand of toys or make of toys from the town of Chenna Patna in Karnataka. All right, let's move on to our fourth contestant. And that is Sai Charan. Sai Charan, let's see if you can get points on this one. Your question. Krishna Raja Wadaya III repaired the shrine in 1827 AD and built the present bar at the entrance. Is the Gopura. The king presented to the temple a simha vahana, a lion shaped vehicle, and other animal cars and jewels of value. The cars are used even now for processions on special religious occasions. What famous temple is being talked about? I knew the answer, sir, but I'm able to guess. Guess, guess. There's no <laughs> negative marking. So then just try and guess any temple that comes to your mind, which might have been built by. Or repaired by Krishna Raja Wadia the third. Think of a temple. Sir, not no, uh, unable to recall it, names of temples, sir. Okay, uh, let's pass to Stash. Let's yes, sir. Stash. I think it's Sri 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 Chan. Go for uh, it. Sir, Sri Sri Chandraman something, sir. Sorry, can't give it to you. Uh, let's move on to Samhita. Sir, is it Chamundeshwari temple? It is the Chamundeshwari temple. Absolutely correct. Well done. I think the Stash led you on a little bit. Stash had the answer on his fingertips but could not deliver it. Well done, Samitha. You get 10 points. First points of this round. Well done. And now the last question of this round goes to Stash. It's a direct question. Let's have it on stream. Srinivasa Gauda became a celebrity after running a distance of 142.5 meters in 13.62 seconds in a slushy paddy field. People around India were quick to compare him with Usain Bolt. This was big news, actually. His success also led to Mode, owned by Anis, becoming a celebrity. What event was Srinivasa Gauda taking part in? Sir, Buffalo Race. Buffalo Race? I'll give it to you. It's definitely the Buffalo Race. Absolutely correct, Stash or Kambala. 10 points to you, Stash. Good job. And uh, now we will take a look at the scores as we have come to the end of our second round, Jiggas. So the scores after round number two are as follows. Samhita has made a good comeback. Samhita is on 15 points. Harita is on five points. Manav is on 15. Sai Charan is on 15. And Stash is on 10. Reminder, the top two, the top two from the Mysore Cluster final are going to qualify for our national quarterfinals. So Two more rounds to go, lots to play for.
Let's move on to our third round, which is called Trishanku. Let's take a look at the rules for Trishanku. One question per participant. This round does not pass. Three clues leading to something or someone. Plus 15 for getting it in the first attempt. Plus 10 for getting it in the second attempt. And plus five for getting it in the third attempt. Uh, we'll start with our last participant or contestant number five today. And that is Stash. Stash, here's your first clue coming up now. I'm looking for a style of painting. Uh, these paintings are wow. referred to as Palagai Padam. Wow. Palagai means wooden plank and Padam means picture. Okay, uh, you want the next clue? Yes, sir. Okay, let's move on to the next clue. This art form draws its inspiration from about 1600 AD, from when the Nayakas were in power. So next clue. Last clue coming up. The Brihadishwara temple is located in the same city from where this painting style originated. Should be easy now if you know where the Brihadishwara temple is. You need to answer in five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry, uh, Stash can't give you any more time. Brihadishwara temple is in Tanjavur or Tanjor. And these are the Tanjore paintings. That's what I was looking for. So no points for Stash. And we move on to contestant number four. And that is Sai Charan. Sai Charan, your first clue coming up now. The construction of this church was completed in 1605. And this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So next clue. Next clue. Okay, second clue coming up. This church holds the mortal remains of St. Francis Xavier. You want another clue? Yeah. Okay. This basilica is located in Old Goa. That should give it away. I have no idea about church, but I'm going to guess. I think it's St. Philomena's. No, this is the Bomb Jesus Basilica. The most famous church in Goa. In fact, probably the most famous church in India. And it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So... Again, we intend to cover monuments and famous pieces of architecture from all across the country. These are things that you will definitely find on the Cycle Heritage Quiz. Uh, let's move on to the third question, and that is going to be for Manav. Manav, your first clue coming up now. It was originally known as Mankal and built on a hilltop in the year 1143 AD. The next clue, sir. Next clue. Okay. Next one. The Qutub Shahi kings converted this into a massive granite fort extending five kilometers in circumference. The next clue, please. Okay. Last clue coming up. This fort is located about nine kilometers from the Hussein Sagar Lake. That, sir, is it the Red Fort? Not the Red Fort. We talked about Qutub Shahi kings. We talked about the Hussein Sagar Lake, which is in Hyderabad. So, of course, it's the Golconda Fort. The Golconda Fort is what I was talking about. No points for Manav. Let's see if Harita can get some points on the board and be in the race to qualify for our national quarterfinals. Harita, your question coming up now. First clue on screen now. He was the author of several books and pamphlets, including Abolition of Zamindari, Cooperative Farming, x ray India's Poverty and Its Solution. Sir, next clue. Okay, next clue coming up. Uh, Kisan Divas is observed on his birthday. Uh, so next clue. Last clue coming up. The international airport serving Lucknow is named after this former Indian Prime Minister. Sir, I'm not sure. Okay, I thought Lucknow should give it to you. Former Indian Prime Minister Kisan Divas. This is Chaudhary Charan Singh. You should have guessed. Just... Take a guess with any prime minister. You know, there is no negative marking. There's no negative marking. Uh, slightly tough round, it seems. Uh, let's move on to the last question and see if Samhita can get some points. Samhita, your first clue coming up now. Musical instruments used in this theater form include chande, harmonium, madale, tala, and flute, among others. The next clue, please. Let's move on to the next clue. The costumes used include large size headgear, colored faces, elaborate costumes all over the body, and musical beats on the legs called gadget. So next. Last clue coming up. The name of this theater form from Karnataka 
comes from two words, one referring to a celestial being and the other referring to music. Theater from, from Karnataka, this should be quite easy. Just think of theater Say from- Say Yakshagana. Yes, of course, Yakshagana, what else could it be? Theater form from Karnataka, two words, celestial being Yaksha and Gana music, absolutely correct. Yakshagana gives you five points. With that, we come to the end of round number three. One more round to go, and it's time to take a look at the scores. So the scores after round number three, very, very close with two spots up for grabs. Samhita is on 20, and she's currently in the lead. Anita is on five, but still not out of the race. Manav and Saicharan both are on 15, and Stash is on 10 points. So two spots up for grabs. Just 15 points separating all the contestants today. And the last round is going to decide it all, which is called Divya Drishti. Let's take a look at the rules of Divya Drishti. One direct question per participant, all based on visuals, passes anti-clockwise, plus 10 for every correct answer, direct or on pass. We have the first question for Stash. Stash, your visual coming up on screen now. Stash, simple one for you. Name this important bird. It's a two-word term. Two-word name for this bird. Mm, a woodpecker. Not woodpecker. Uh, moving on to our fourth contestant, and that is Sai Charan. Sir, yes, uh, I'm not sure, but then I think it's Arctic turn. Not Arctic turn. Uh, let's move on to our third contestant, and that is Mana. Uh, is this the blue wing? No, that's not the right answer. Uh, moving on to contestant number two, and that is Harita. Sir, hornbill. Not hornbill. Moving on to Samhita. Okay, passing. This is actually the state bird of three Indian states. Odisha, Telangana, and Karnataka. The answer is Indian roller. The answer is Indian roller, which is the state bird of Karnataka. This is something... Definitely, you should read up and know about. Uh, no problem. Let's move on to question number two, and that is for contestant number four, and that is Sai Charan. Sai Charan, your question coming up. I want the name of a temple where these musical pillars are located. I want the name of the temple, not just the location. I want the name of the temple. Very, very famous temple. The musical pillars are also iconic. So no, it is. Okay, passing, surprising. Let's move on to Manav. No idea. Okay. Let's move on to Harita. Sir, uh, Panjava Temple. Not Panjava Temple. Uh, let's move on to Samhita. Sir, Virupaksha Temple at Hampi. Not Virupaksha Temple. Uh, let's move on to Stash. Sir, is it the Vita Temple? Vitala Temple is what I wanted. Yes, it is in Hampi. Not the Virupaksha temple, but the Vitala temple. Good answer there, Stash. 10 points to you. I think that's a very, very important 10 points that you have got. Fantastic answer. Now we'll move on to question number three, and that is for Manav. This painting depicts Veda Vyasa, with which 13th century philosopher from Karnataka. No idea, sir. Okay, passing. Let's move on to person number two, and that is Harita. Uh, uh, sir, I'm not sure. Okay, moving on to Samhita. Sir, Basavanna. Basavanna is a good guess, but not Basavanna. Let's move on to our next contestant, and that is Stash. Sir, mm, no idea. Okay, let's move on to our fourth contestant, and that is Sai Charan. Sir, could you please repeat the question? Which 13th century philosopher is here with Veda Vyasa? No idea, sir. Okay, no one gets this one. This is Madhavacharya, the famous philosopher from Karnataka. So, no one gets points for the third question. Two more questions to go. I think this is going to be very, very close. Next question is for Harita, who still ha is in the contention to qualify for national quarterfinals. Harita, your question coming up on screen now. Harita, this is an old picture of a structure, okay? I want you to tell me who is this structure named after? I want a specific answer. Who is this structure named after? 
should not have too much problem in figuring out what this structure is. Who is this structure named after? Sir, I'm not sure. Haritha, be confident. Just give an answer. Do you, uh, then there's anything. There's no negative marking. Yes, Samita. Sir, so, M. Vishweshwaraya. Just... No, it's not named after M. Vishweshwaraya. And now let's move on to Stash. Sir, Sanchi Stupa. It's not the Sachi Stupa. And who is the Sachi Stupa named after? It's not Sachi Stupa for sure. It's not the Sachi Stupa. Uh, Sai Charan? Sorry. Okay. I thought this would be pretty easy. Uh, let's move on to Manav. Sir, we have to name the structure or the... The person the structure is named after. So is the structure the KRS Dam. Okay. And who is it named after? Uh, Wadiya Raj Pillai, I think. Which Wadiya? The, the second one. Sorry, can't give it to you. Uh, you are close. This is the KRS Dam. But it's named after Krishna Raja Wadiya the fourth, not the second one. Krishna Raja Wadiya the fourth. That's the most famous ruler, probably, of the Mysore kingdom, who's known for his contributions to Mysore and the state of Karnataka. So you should have got this one. No one gets any points for this one. I'm sorry, Manav, you were really close, but uh, could not give it to you. Uh, with that, we come to the end of four questions. We now only have one question to go in this quiz. Uh, we need to take one final look at the scores. So after three rounds and four questions, here are the scores. 20 points, Samhita. Five points, Harita. 15 points, Manav. 15 points, Sai Charan. And 20 points to Stash. Right now, Stash and Samhita are in the two qualifying spots. But Sai Charan and Manav can still upset the apple cart by answering the last question. The last question is a direct one for Samhita. Samhita, your visual is going to come up now. And let's see if you can get it correct or not. Your question on screen now. Okay. So this is something known as the Navagrahas. Okay. In... Indian culture or Indian philosophy or Indian religion. Who is the deity right in the center? Who is depicted Sir. in the center? Surya Raja. Surya? Absolutely right, Samhita. Well done. 10 points. And with that, I think you see your spot in the national quarterfinal. With that, we come to the end of a very, very close uh, Mysore cluster final here at the Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022. And the final scores are as follows. Samhita qualifies with 30 points, followed by Stash with 20 points. Manav and Sai Chiran started off with a bang. They got 15 points in the first round, but could not score points after that. So they are on 15 points, and Harita ends on 5 points. So congratulations uh, to Samhita and Stash. We'll see you Thank both you, in the national quarterfinal. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The Mysore Cluster Final at the Cycle Heritage Quiz 2022 turned out to be up and down a pet. Some people went off to a brilliant start in the first round by hitting the perfect 15, but could not score throughout the rest of the quiz. Some questions proved to be tricky. Some questions were brilliantly cracked by our parts. In the end, the person who held her nerve throughout the quiz kept answering consistently, won the quiz. And that was Samhita, who qualifies in first spot for the national qualifying. And coming back after not getting any points in the first round is Stash. Stash gets 20 points and qualifies in second spot. Commiserations to Manav, commiserations to Harita, commiserations to Sai Charan. You all did very well to come this far, but unfortunately you could not qualify. But I'm sure we'll see you all in future editions of our quizzes. So with that, we come to the end of the Mysore Cluster Final and we'll see you again in our next Cluster Final. Till we meet again, stay safe, stay happy, stay curious. <laughs>